Hi, this screencast is going to walk through converting web form submissions to PDF documents using the Entity Print module for Drupal 8. My name is Jake Rockwitz. I'm known as Jay Rockwitz on the web. I'm a Drupal developer and software architect. I built and maintain the web form module for Drupal 8. What is the Entity Print module? The Entity Print module allows you to print any Drupal entity to PDF. The Entity Print module is a lightweight module which has full test coverage and is ready to production use. I think this is really important to state up front. It's included on the project page because it indicates that the entity print module works out of the box and does exactly what you'd expect it to do. And it's a high quality module. And specifically about the entity print module, it's maintained by Ben Doherty, Benji, and provides an API to generate PDF documents. And it's configurable using the field UI and display modes. Now the web form module doesn't rely on the field UI or display modes. Therefore, it requires some glue code to get your web form submissions to generate PDF documents. And people are doing that in custom code, and I decided to kind of write two helper modules to make it a little easier to get that PDF generation functionality working with your web forms. And why is the entity print and just Benji awesome? Well, it's just great code with well thought out APIs. It is some of the cleanest code I have seen for Drupal 8. It's one of the most high quality modules with the best great test coverage, great APIs. And then the overall approach to the module is it takes an entity first approach to PDF generation. What that means is it takes any entity on your site, let's talk about nodes or web form submissions, it takes the entity and converts that to a PDF document. Compared to other PDF generation modules in Drupal, where it will take the browser's print style sheet page and for lack of a better word, slam that into a PDF document. And there's a lot of limitations to that. You're, you're jamming all this extra CSS styles and media queries into a PDF, uh, PDF document. It has lots of issues and bugs. This is a very clean approach. It's a dedicated template, dedicated style sheet, generates a PDF document. And it works out of the box with Composer. If you use Composer and install it, it will go out and get a PDF generation library and install it on your site and it's customizable through the UI and theme layer. So what is the web form entity print module? Well, the web form entity print module allows site builders to download, export, and email PDF copies of web form submissions. And about the web form entity print module, you can download a single submission as a PDF document, export multiples as PDF documents, attach a PDF document to an email, if you like a web form submission, customize that PDF document's template, header and footer, and add some custom CSS. So this is the download link when you're looking at a submission. And if you go to the download export tab, you can convert all your submissions to PDF documents and download them into a zip archive. And you can configure it. And this is the template. You can add a header and footer. The header includes the title and it supports tokens. The CSS, even that's included here, is it removes the margin around your HTML body content so that the PDF's margins will be used instead. So I can give you a little quick demo. I'm on the install page because I want to show you, you know, the entity print module and the two modules, the web form entity print PDF module and the web form entity print PDF attachment module. They're marked experimental because the APIs might change. The code's fairly stable because it's glue code. You can use it on production. if you do use it on production. When you update the Webflow module, please just verify the functionality is still working as you expect, especially if you're customizing or extending some of the code. It's really about the APIs. So let's jump over to the Webflow module. I'm going to go to the contact form with a couple of submissions. And I'm going to click through the first submission. We're kind of familiar with this. So now we get this download PDF link. I'll click. And it will convert this to a PDF document. If I go to the table view, It'll convert this to a PDF document. You can customize both these templates in any way you want. So we've just talked about a single submission. So let's jump over to the results. Go to download. Go here and say PDF documents. Pretty much it. You can say whether you want HTML or table. You can do some filtering. Hit download. And we get a clean zip archive containing PDF documents of every single submission. I'm not going to open that up for you. Now we're going to switch gears to a little bit more complex of a concept. How do you attach these PDF documents to an email? Well, the web forms a module 
supports attaching files to emails, but it's a two-step process. You have to create an attachment element, which then you say is attached to an email. This abstraction makes it more flexible because by providing a dedicated attachment element, you can customize it easier then you can't really just have a checkbox that say, yeah, stick a PDF on this email. There's more to it than that. So let's walk through creating the attachment document. And by doing this, I'm going to go to build. And the whole concept of attachments in the Webform module is well documented, and there's a dedicated screencast for it. I'll walk through these four pretty quickly, and I'll talk about the token and twig. This is a way of generating dynamic files that are associated with a Webform submission. So you can say, here's a perfect, pristine print version, like not print, but like here's a receipt for this submission. And you can use tokens or twig to generate it. And it's a dedicated URL document that can then be attached. The attachment URL works in a way of, you're just pointing to any URL on any server. So the example would be if you had a privacy policy on your server and you wanted to include it in an email, you put the privacy policies URL in and that would be attached to the email going out. Now for PDFs, let's look at this. It's, it's fairly simple. We can call this PDF. We're displaying, we're not, we're not displaying this PDF. It's more like background information. It's an element associated with the web forms, but it's not something that needs to be displayed. You can display it, but let's just um, call this contact.pdf. Okay. You can say the view mode, we can switch it to HTML. I'm not going to go through all these settings, but I'm going to hit save. It's added here. I want to emphasize it's not added to the form or when you preview the submission. It is added when you go to results and you scroll over, you're going to get, whoops, sorry about that. You get this column. And there's our contact, and we can click. We get our little PDF document. It is the same as going to here and doing it. But why we did this is now we've created this relationship. We have this PDF document tightly associated with our data. Then when we go into our settings and go into handlers, let's do the note notification. We're going to hit edit. Scroll down here and you could say include files as attachments. The PDF is going to be included. More importantly, when you're debugging this, it's nice to turn on debugging. So we'll turn that on. If I hit show, you're going to see the settings right here. Debugging, attachments. I'm going to go over to the test tab. I'm going to hit send. Takes a second because we're generating PDFs on the fly and sending email. But there's the attachment. This comes through on the email that you're getting. Um, this is here for debugging. You can click through and even get a preview of the attachment. That's pretty much it for this functionality. So let, let's move forward. I want the biggest takeaway here is that the entity print module is awesome. All this functionality that you saw that you might like and enjoy is because this module is great. It is so easy to set up this functionality. It was just about going through the little places in the Webform module and being like, okay, I would like to have a PDF generated here. And it just worked. And we have to thank Ben Doherty, Benji for this. He's awesome. This is a great piece of code in the Drupal community. It will be around for a very long time. So I want to give you some tips on PDF generation. Um, I have some experience with it. And keep the HTML markup and CSS as simple as possible. They print faster. It's easier to debug. You never need to add JavaScript, which is great about the entry print module because it doesn't include it. Um, WKHTML to PDF is the best PDF generator out there. It is based off of WebKit. What you get is very similar to when you hit control print in your Chrome browser. That PDF preview that you see is pretty close to what WKHTML PDF generates. It's a little old, so it's probably like from two or three years ago, that PDF, but I found it very reliable. The catch is it must be installed on your server. And some you know, shared hosting environments will not allow it. Some will just include this library automatically because it's very popular. Um, in terms of managing your your PDF documents. Anti print module supports template suggestions, so it's very easy to customize, even for a single web form, how that PDF document is being generated for submissions. You can use the debug link to review and tweak the CSS. What the debug link does is it renders the HTML 
that's going into the PDF document, but you can go and look at that HTML, tweak it, the styles, the spacing, and adjust it. Very hard to debug a, a PDF document. You can't really get in there and see what's going on. So some web form entity print tips and tricks. You know, those PDF links can be disabled. That exporter can be disabled. PDF templates support tokens. And it's important with the email attachments, there really is a, th a, a third step or really a first step to get email attachments working is you have to install a mail handler module that supports file attachments that will allow files to be attached to emails. That's not something Drupal core provides out of the box. These are two approaches, the SMTP module, or you can use the mail system module, which then allows you to integrate with other ways to send, e send email and format email, and you could use the Swift mailer. That's it. My name is Jacob Rockowitz. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Have fun using the Webflow module for Drupal 8 and the Entity Print module.